Welcome to another chainsaw video with uh, featuring the $77.66 Chinese clone chainsaw of awesomeness. I really wish I would have gotten this video of me, or I wish I would have gotten this tree on film as I was cutting it down. It was pretty, pretty interesting cutting this tree down actually. There is a maple tree behind me on the other side of the driveway there. And I had to slip it, slip this tree by that one. And I had to miss some power lines that were in the distance, I don't know, probably another 15 feet, maybe 20 feet away at the most. So I had to be careful with that, and I was able to slip this tree by across that maple one. And boy, you should have seen the branches bend. Oh my gosh, I have never seen uh, branches flex so much without them breaking. So now that I have the tree on the ground, I'm going to cut this thing up into about six foot pieces. Since we've had so much rain, the uh, neighbor of ours is, uh, he heats his house with wood and coal. But it, uh, the logger that he gets his wood from, I guess he said it's, he said the paper mills are buying up all the wood and he only gets one load, so it's really not worth their time for one load. You know, they want, you know, hundreds of loads instead of one. And also, another thing is, is the problem is with the weather. We have had so much rain. We are probably uh, two feet, I think two to, let's see, 24 to maybe 28 inches now. Uh, over what we should have been for the year so we've had roughly call it like 20 inches to be conservative 20 inches of extra rain and it is so incredibly wet everywhere where we go I drive the mower across the ground uh, one time and there's already mud showing through on the dirt so or on the grass so it's just really really it's really wet and you can't really do much and you can the logger guy can barely get into the woods as it is so I'm um, this tree is actually gonna go this tree's going to the neighbor uh, this is a mystery tree I have no idea what this wood is it is pretty hard and pretty heavy it's definitely not a pine tree what and it's not a maple it's not an oak it's I'm not real sure. I, I, I have no idea what kind of tree this is. And if anyone knows in the comments and can tell by just looking at the bark, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear what it is. I've gotten to be pretty good at figuring out what the trees and stuff are and the species and stuff just by looking at the bark. And on this tree, there's no leaves or anything. And the bark, I've I wouldn't say I've never seen it before, but I just don't know what it is. I don't know, maybe, is it poplar? Is it... I don't know. It's uh, a wood I'm not familiar with, so... I'm just kind of cutting this thing up with the Chinese chainsaw, which is still running like a charm, and it seems to still be a pretty good saw for me. So, I'm, like I said, I'm cutting this into about six foot pieces. And the neighbor will cut up the rest of them, you know, how as big as he can fit them into his stove. So I think he was happy to get the wood, and you know, I gave him the wood and stuff, and cut down this tree for free. You know, we needed the, I wanted the tree cut down because it was dead, and we come along the bank where the stump is. You'll see later in the video with the 8N and the 3-point uh, Ford 501 sickle mower to mow the bank and this tree is always in the way so any opportunity or chance that I get to uh, cut this tree down I, I wanted to try to take it so 
We finally had a break in the weather where it wasn't raining so much. But here's a closer look at the Chinese chainsaw. And it does get used. It's It doesn't look faded because I store it inside, but it definitely has gotten used. So I am still pretty happy with it. <coughs> so here you can see that bank that I was talking about earlier. And um, the camera does not do it justice for how steep this is. It is. This bank goes up, goes in like two feet, and in that two feet it rises like three or four. So this bank is very, very steep, and of course there's a ditch at the bottom too, so. But I'm just trying to cut this stump reasonably close to the ground, as somewhat as close as I can. Because like I said, we're we have to come by with the sickle mower on the tractor, and we always had to pick it up to get it across or to get it over this spot so having this tree out of here I'm hoping will uh, make things go a lot smoother and plus it was dead you know everyone kinda wins here you know we can come by here with the tractor easier now we don't have to pick up the uh, arm on it we got a dead tree taken down and the neighbor gets the wood that he needs so it's kind of a it's pretty much a win-win situation here for all of, for everyone here to have this tree taken out. I, uh, it would be very difficult. Uh, no, it, it could be done for someone to come in with a stump grinder and grind this, but uh, you'd have to put some boards across the ditch and drive the machine across it to the other side. But I don't think we're going to do that. Now I'm just uh, cutting this stump as close to the ground as I can. And I did not hit any metal in this tree, which I was very, very pleased about. That always kind of, when you have one or two saws with you and you hit some metal in a tree and you don't have the tools to sharpen it proper, it's kind of a bummer, but no nails or spikes or anything. And this stump was incredibly hard. I don't know what kind of wood it was. The wood was pretty heavy. So I it's not a sycamore or anything. It's not an ash tree. It's not an oak. It's not a maple. It's I don't know. It's a mystery. I don't think it's an it could be an elm tree I, for all I know. But I actually I actually did not get a rink out of this tree. I should have. I actually should have showed you guys the stump. It was kind of a, an interesting looking stump. And the chips coming out of the, the cut were real fine. I know they say that that is because the saw is dull. But this saw, I, I, don't, I don't really know when the last time I sharpened it. But it, it's not dull. It cut through everything else just fine. But you know, the stumps are always the most difficult part of the tree to cut up. I think the stumps are the hardest, or the branches are. I don't really know, but I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to cut this cut this stump off as low as possible. And actually, speaking of that sickle bar mower, I forgot to mention we got a John Deere sickle bar mower also. It has a 7 foot arm on it, so we have a, a foot longer reach with it. I don't think I ever made a video of it. Maybe at some point I will, if you guys would want to see it. But the saw here would not reach through uh, the entire stump. That's an 18 inch bar and chain on that saw and it didn't reach to the other side for the roots that flared out. So, But I'm giving the neighbor all of this wood here and I'm even bringing it over to him so I know he's he's done a lot for us and I've over through the years so the least I can do is give him some of this tree or the, the whole thing now I am getting out the mower here and just kinda cleaning cleaning up my mess 
I've got to say the this biggest log here that thing was pretty heavy I bet that was probably 80 pounds maybe maybe even more maybe a hundred it was a, a good lift to move it around so I'm just loading up the Jeep trailer here and I've got a whole bunch of supplies and stuff in there from chaps and a hard hat or a forestry helmet to a couple saws so and gas hope everyone enjoyed the video and if you would don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more 